Congratulations on taking this amazing step in regaining control of your health by detoxifying your body and raising the quality of your well-being to entirely new levels. Hi, I'm Ken Ludwig, Nutritional Cleansing Consultant with GoCleanse. I want to welcome you to this GoCleanse presentation of the launch instructions for both the 11-day and 30-day cleansing protocols, featuring, of course, the Isagenix nutritional and cleansing products. We're going to spend the next several minutes talking about your cleansing products and their proper use and scheduling during the first four days of your protocol to ensure your optimal results and also to get you off to a flying start. So sit back, have a pen and paper or your favorite device handy to take some notes. You're about to begin the most scientifically and nutritionally sound protocol to remove toxins from your body, lose an extraordinary amount of weight, and do it feeling more energized and alive than you have felt in a very long time. This is the start of your new lifestyle and the first steps on your journey to live healthier, longer. Today we're gonna to spend our focus uh, on the first four days of your cleansing protocol, and we're just gonna dive right in. When you receive your product, you're gonna see, of course, the different components of your cleanse. You're gonna find your isolene shake. You're also going to get some isogenic snacks. We'll talk about those in a bit. You're gonna get some canisters of Cleanse for Life. It's our aloe vera based product that we use to get serious about um, breaking up those toxins and metabolizing the fat cells. You're also gonna get a canister of natural accelerators. And we're gonna talk about all these in a little bit of detail here to let you know exactly what you're gonna be doing. You're also gonna see paperwork, lots of paperwork. There's some promotional paperwork in there. This is great information. Uh, there's a couple of DVDs in there. There's all kinds of items in here regarding our business and, and what we do and how we make money and the isogenics opportunity. I'd like you to invite you to do with this material whatever you're called to do with it. If you wanna avail yourself of it, please go for it. If you're not interested, don't bother. One of the things the Go Cleanse group never does is we do not solicit every person who comes on board to do the cleanse with us to also join us in our network marketing opportunity. We just don't operate that way. Now, having said that, I want you to understand, it's not that we don't want you in the business. It's not that we wouldn't love to have you. But the truth of the matter is, if you see this opportunity as something you might be interested in, if you see the amazing results that you get, or you know other people who get incredible results, if you'd like to help people that you know around you, help to, to just adopt an entirely new, healthier lifestyle, then please, if you think this is something you wanna do, ask your coach or ask your enroller about the isogenics opportunity. We would love to tell you, and we would love to have you be part of our business. But truthfully, we're gonna put that ball in your court. We're gonna make it your responsibility because we probably won't even bring it up. Now, you're also gonna find some other material in there. That is a DVD that is some instructional stuff and a schedule that is how, what we're gonna follow during the course of the protocol. I want you to know this is very good information, but it's also a little bit general and a little bit generic. We want, in the Go Cleanse group, we want to make sure that you have some very specific information that you can use to make sure you get a real scheduled opportunity here to follow along and do things in a particular order. So, your coach should have already emailed you some new instructions and a schedule um, that, that you will have with you at all times and you'll, that's what you're going to follow. That's the one we're going to use. Now, the schedule is very, very time specific. It starts at seven o'clock in the morning. Now that may work great for you, that may not work at all for you. What I want you to do is change that time to fit your lifestyle. If you need to have everything start at 5.30 in the morning, please move it all just back an hour and a half. If you need to start at eight o'clock, move everything forward an hour. Whatever works for you, works for us. Make it fit your life, as I said. The most important part of that schedule is what I refer to as the intervals. Now what are the intervals? You know, we said we're gonna talk about the first four days of your, of your, your cleansing protocol. Let's talk about the first two. The first two days are shake days. The intervals are the times between your very first shake in the morning and your first snack, and your first snack and your second snack, and your second snack and your lunch and so forth. During the entire time you work with us, whether it's 11 days or 30 days, or whether you have bigger goals and you're gonna work with us for six months or, or a year, whatever it is, we're never gonna go more than an hour and a half or two hours without putting something in our system. So during those first two days, those first two shake days, never more than an hour and a half to two hours without having a shake, a snack, a lunch, and so forth and so on. Now in your box, of course, we mentioned you have the isogenic snacks. 
Isogenic snacks are specially formulated to maintain blood sugar balance. Now, what is that about? You know, we're gonna be flooding your body with more nutrition than it's used to getting on any 2,000 or maybe even 2,500 calorie day of your life. But we're definitely gonna be doing it on a limited caloric intake. What we need to ensure against is that your brain never gets the mistaken idea that someone has put it on a diet. The minute your brain thinks it's being dieted, well, it goes into kind of a survival mode. And what it does is start to store fat and water. Now, obviously that's not what we're here for. The other thing that happens is, the minute it starts to store fat and water, your brain will start to go to dissolving muscle tissue to provide itself with the two grams of glucose it needs every four hours. So what we do is maintain a regular regimen of snacking, those intervals I was talking about, so that we never let our brain enter into that survival space and that we make sure it stays satisfied. Now we're gonna make generous use of these isogenic snacks during the entirety of your cleansing protocol, but this is important. We're not going to use the isogenic snacks during the first two days, during those first two shake days. Actually, sometimes we call them three cleansing days. During those first two days, we're gonna want you to use some alternative snacks. And these are what those are. You can have one quarter of an organic apple. You can have three or four almonds, or you can have one stalk of celery, all right? Those are your choices for the first two days. Now, every time you see a snack opportunity on your schedule in those first two days, you can mix and match one of these options, however they best work for you. Again, three or four almonds, one quarter of an organic apple, or one stalk of celery. Starting on day three, we're gonna introduce the isogenic snacks as our fourth option. And from that day forward, from day three forward, you will actually have four different options at each snack opportunity on your schedule. And again, I wanna be really clear about this so there's no confusion. You can have one isogenic snack, starting on day three again, one isogenic snack, not two. You can have three or four almonds. Some places you'll see different numbers stick to three or four. You can have one quarter of an organic apple or one stalk of celery. That pretty much covers your snacking. The other thing that you're gonna do every single day that you work with us, no matter how long it is, is you're gonna drink one half your body weight in ounces of water every single day. I'm always fascinated by the fact that most of us have completely forgotten our weights and measures from grammar school. So we'll have a little refresher course here. Two quarts of water is 64 ounces. Nobody, regardless your weight, nobody is going to drink less than 64 ounces. Two and a half quarts is 80 ounces. Three quarts is 96 ounces, three and a half quarts is 112 ounces, and four quarts is 128 ounces. Of course, that's one gallon. Now we're gonna, again, we're gonna drink one half our body weight in ounces of water, but I like to round it up to the next highest half a quart. So anybody, for starters, who weighs 224 pounds or more is going to drink one gallon of water, 128 ounces every single day. That's your minimum requirement. Let's, for the rest of us, let's use a couple of examples so we know what we're talking about here. If you weigh 200 pounds exactly, divide that in half, that's 100. That's 100 ounces, but we're gonna round it up again to the next highest half a quart. That would be 112 ounces or three and a half quarts. That will be your minimum intake during the course of the cleansing protocol. If you weigh 180 pounds, half of that is 90 ounces. Rounding up to the next highest half a quart is three quarts or 96 ounces. That's your minimum intake requirement during the entire time you work with us. The water is a hugely important part of this entire protocol, so it's very important that you make sure you get that water into you. Now I know we all live in a very, very busy, 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 go, 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 go world. Who's got time to count ounces or keep track of how many bottles or how many glasses I drank? Well, I have a suggestion for you. I would suggest to you that you get a one gallon jug. Doesn't matter how much water you have to drink, get a one gallon jug. And what I want you to do is the night before you start your cleanse, fill up that jug with whatever your minimum requirement is. If you have to drink three quarts of water, fill it up to 96 ounces, take a Sharpie marker and mark the jug. If you have to drink 80 ounces, do two and a half quarts of water, pour them into your jug, mark your jug. At night, before you go to bed, fill it up. If you want it cold, put it in the refrigerator. If not, don't. But that way you have your water all set up in the morning, you start to pour it off into a smaller container and just continue to drink until your jug is empty. Nothing to keep track of. It couldn't be simpler. Every night, fill up your jug. Every day, drain it. Every night, fill up your jug. Every day, drain it. That pretty much covers your snacking and your water. Now I mentioned the first two days are shake days. What's a shake day? A shake day is a shake for breakfast. It's a four to 600 calorie lunch and it's a shake for dinner. 
The first thing I want you to do is to read the back of the Isoline Shake canister and get the directions for how you can mix it up. There are different ways to mix it, but I very strongly suggest that you make a shake. Make a rich, creamy, delicious shake, and you will tend to savor it. You'll drink it more slowly, but the most important piece of that whole, that whole picture is that you will get much more of a feeling of satisfaction like you have actually had a meal. Trust me when I tell you, that feeling of satisfaction is going to come in very handy during the time that you're going to be working with us. That's going to be your breakfast. It's also going to be your dinner. Now, you know, in some places you may see in some of the literature that it says you can have a shake for breakfast and a shake for lunch and then have the meal for dinner. We would prefer that you don't do that. Follow the shake and then a lunch and shake format because we know the science tells us that that's where we get our best results without any question. In the middle is that four to 600 calorie lunch. What does that look like? Well, for me, it's pretty simple. It's a salad. And in the middle of that salad goes a four to six ounce piece of protein. You can have literally any kind of protein you want. You can have turkey, you can have chicken, you can have pork, any kind of seafood works. You can even have beef, but of course, if you're gonna have beef, it's not a hamburger, it's a lean cut of beef. If you are not a meat eater, or if you choose not to eat meat during the course of this protocol, feel free to have four to six ounces of beans, eggs, or tofu. The protein lands right smack in the middle of a great big salad and build the biggest salad you want to build. I mean that literally. All the greens and all the vegetables you want, skip the croutons and the cheese, but the biggest pile of greens and vegetables with your protein in the middle that you want to create, very, very hard to go over that 600 calorie threshold, provided of course you pay attention to the dressing. Now if you're someone who could do without or a few squeezes of lemon, great, but most of us are going to require more than that. Two suggestions for you. You can go down the uh, dressing aisle of your grocery store. You're gonna find a thing that's called spritzer. It's a spray on dressing. Now the dressing itself is pretty good, but the best part is a couple of three spritzes on your salad. Every single mouthful is gonna have a taste of dressing and there will be not one drop left in the bottom of your bowl when you're done. The alternative to that is just go ahead and use your favorite dressing. But pour it into a little cup first. And then what I would have you do is dip your fork into the dressing in the cup before you stab salad onto the fork. Once again, taste the dressing in every mouthful, but you are gonna use literally a mere fraction of the calories in dressing that most of us are used to using on our salad. Now, totally alternative to the salad idea is to take that same four to six ounce serving of protein, and you can then accompany that with all of the steamed or raw vegetables you can eat. Again, I need that literally, all you can eat. Virtually impossible to go past that 600 calorie threshold with simply the protein and the vegetables. There's the nuts and bolts of your shake day, all right? You have a shake for breakfast, that healthy lunch, and a shake for dinner. Of course, you also have the things that we've already covered, your snacks and your water. We also have our natural accelerators. Now, I wanna be really clear about the accelerators. People see that word and they get a little confused. They right away assume that they're gonna get a dose of Mop Wang or ephedra or caffeine or something meant to jack up your metabolism. Nothing could be farther from the truth. There are no stimulants in the accelerator. What we are accelerating is your body's ability to process the toxins and metabolize the fat cells that we're gonna be moving through it at a very rapid pace. I would say the accelerator is just nothing more than a super vitamin to support us through the entire protocol. So there are the five pieces, the shake, the snacks, the water, your lunch, and your accelerators. They are all on your schedule. Simply follow the Go Plan schedule. That's your first two days. Days three and four are our first two cleansing days. That's where we're gonna use our Cleanse for Life. Now the Cleanse for Life, we don't have any shakes or actual meals on those days. We simply use this powder. And what I want you to do again is read the back of the canister. You're gonna find two separate sets of instructions. One of them is for everyday cleansing. One of them is for deep cleansing. We're gonna follow the instructions for deep cleansing. And what that means very simply is two level scoops of your Cleanse for Life in four to eight ounces of water four times a day. And of course, that's on your schedule. A little side note for me, not everybody, and that would include myself, is a big fan of the very berry Hawaiian punchy flavor of Cleanse for Life. If you have any issue with the taste, I'll give you two suggestions. You can make a little slushy, a couple of ice cubes in your blender. Some people enjoy it that way. Or you can do what I do. I make a nice hot tea. And when I say hot, hot tea, I just mean don't use boiling water, but good hot water. And what you wind up with is a very sweet, herbal tea that you kind of sip. I enjoy it that way. 
So if you have any challenge with the taste, there's a couple suggestions to get you by it. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, day three is where we now introduce the isogenic snacks as our fourth snack option. And again, I hate to repeat this over and over again, but it's where we seem to always develop some confusion. Let's eliminate it right now. One isogenic snack, one quarter of an organic apple, three or four almonds, one stalk of celery. Those are your options. Only one option at each snack opportunity. Mix and match them however you want, but always remember that the isogenic snacks are designed to maintain that blood sugar balance, which can come in very handy, of course, on the cleansing days, which are the days where we have the least caloric intake. The timing of everything that we're doing can be very important. Getting the nutrients and the water into your system in a timely fashion can be a big piece of obtaining our optimal results. Again, busy, busy, go, 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 go world. I would strongly suggest to you that you take the schedule we sent you, enter the times onto your cell phone, and then you can have the cell phone or your alarms go off every time it's time to do whatever it's time to do. Now, two things are gonna happen there. First of all, you're gonna be on time, of course, but secondarily, this is going to help to reinforce some of the new habits we're going to try and build during the course of the time that we work with you. Now, just a little note here. On your schedule, you're going to have a schedule that tells you exactly what the pre-cleanse days are like, those first two days. You're gonna have a schedule that's going to tell you what a cleanse day looks like and what a shake day looks like. Everything is timed out. You have those in your email packet that you got from your coach, make good use of them. We also sent you a chart. The chart is to measure your progress. Now you got a chart that came in your cleanse. This one's a little bit more detailed. During the time we work together, you're gonna to weigh and measure yourselves on day one, day five, and day 12. We weigh and measure at very specific times for specific reasons. There's real science behind it. So stick to what we tell you, day one, day five, and day 12. If day one is tomorrow, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna weigh yourself and you're gonna measure yourself. When you weigh yourself, we do it only first thing in the morning. It's gonna take you an extra five or 10 minutes to do all this, so please give yourself the extra five or 10 minutes that you need and get up early and get it all done. Weigh yourself, we always say, naked and empty. That means obviously no clothes. It also means make a stop in the bathroom on your way to the scale so that we are literally not weighing anything more than what we have to weigh. That's pretty simple. Record it on your chart. There are also 14 different places to measure yourself on that chart. You got in your cleanse, you got a tape measure that came with it. Use that tape measure and go ahead and measure all 14 of those places. Now, some people tell me they're not concerned with that, but I want you to know something. Everybody that I've ever worked with is very, very clear. They know without a shadow of a doubt exactly where they're going to lose the weight, where they have to lose it and where they're gonna lose it. But remember, we're not going after the normal fat cells. We are going after these very specialized toxic fat cells that are storing the toxins in your system. Your body does not store them the same way that anybody else's body does, nor does your body store them symmetrically. So when we do the measurements, we get a really good idea of where your body is actually storing them. And lots and lots of people go, wow, I didn't know I was gonna lose any weight there. Our bodies store it again in different places for each and every one of us. So do the measurements. We're gonna do that on day one, of course. If you are, let's say you're starting on a Thursday, all right? Well, your day five weigh and measure is gonna be on a Monday. You're gonna have your first two shake days, Thursday and Friday, and then you're gonna cleanse on Saturday and Sunday. Monday morning, you're gonna get up, and the first thing you're gonna do is weigh and measure again. Remember again, only first thing in the morning. So you get up, you weigh yourself. Do the math, of course. Subtract what you weigh on Monday morning from what you weighed on Thursday morning. That's how much weight you release during the time that you of the first four days. Do all your measurements. Subtract each of those measurements on Monday morning from what they were on Thursday morning, and obviously you're going to have 14 different measurements there. What I would suggest to you is that you add them all together. So when you check in with your coach, you can say, I lost seven inches or I lost eight inches, as opposed to I lost a quarter inch here and two inches there and a half inch here and one inch there. Get a grand total to make the, the conversation a little bit shorter as opposed to going through all 14 of those. And that'll give you a really good idea of exactly where your body is storing those toxins, as I said earlier. That's pretty much what the whole first four days looks like. A couple of things that I want to, I want to kind of make special note of. Every once in a while, 
somebody will get dizzy during these first four days. Usually happens to much larger people, but literally it can happen to anybody. If at any time you feel any lightheadedness or any dizziness whatsoever, what I want you to do is have an isogenic snack and a big glass of water. I don't care if it's day one or two, still have an isogenic snack and a big glass of water. It solves the problem literally 100% of the time. Lots of us are taking supplements these days. If you're taking supplements for cause, continue taking them. And what I mean by that is lots of um, women take calcium for their bone health. Lots of us are taking um, our omega-3s for our heart health and our, and our uh, circulatory health. Continue taking those. You're taking them for a specific reason. If you're taking a multiple vitamin, go ahead and keep taking it if you want, but what I would invite you to do is just put it aside. You're getting more than enough nutrition and, uh, and, and vitamins and everything else through the, the products in the protocol than what you're ever going to get in your multiple vitamin, so you're probably just literally pouring it through. You just go ahead and put it aside until we're completely done with the entire protocol. That pretty much covers all the bases. Here's what I want you to know about this. The Go Cleanse group has coached literally over 150,000 people through this cleansing protocol. We have nothing but success. What I want you to know in this moment is that some people go through it, piece of cake, no problem. Other people, not so much. You have a coach. Your coach is there to help you through this entire process, over the speed bumps, through the barricades, whatever might present itself. What I want you to be really clear about is don't ever find yourself in a position where you throw up your hands and say, I can't do this, it's too hard. Or don't say, I'll just be a tough guy and wait till the next time I check in with my coach. If you have any issues whatsoever, any questions, any problems, if you have any kind of oddball discomfort or just something you want clarified, please find your coach. Call them, text them, whatever it takes. Get a hold of your coach and make sure that you get whatever the issue is addressed in the moment so that we can provide you with what we're here to provide you. And that is the absolute best possible opportunity for the best possible results you can get. Our goal here, without any question whatsoever, is not to sell you an 11-day cleanse or a 30-day cleanse or however long you work with us and then when it's over, patch on the butt and push you off a cliff. Our goal is to help you adopt an entirely new, healthier lifestyle to pay more attention to what you're putting in your body, to make sure that you are nourishing your body and not just filling it full of idle calories, to make sure that you are thinking differently about how you eat. What we really wanna do is help each and every one of you live healthier, longer. Once again, thank you and enjoy.